What is going on guys? Nathan here with uh, an old-fashioned commentary actually. This time it is about Overwatch. Now as you guys know I've been super excited for Overwatch um, and it is going to pretty much be my addiction once it comes out. But um, recently the Play Overwatch YouTube channel released a video on um, on some very nice McCree gameplay and uh, I wanted to talk about his ultimate for a little bit. Um, so if you don't know who McCree is, McCree is a character in Overwatch who is um, pretty much a very single target focused um, scrappy sort of fighter. He has 275 health, meaning that um, he do he's, he's not very squishy, but uh, he also deals a lot of damage with his revolver and um, especially with his roll, uh, giving him insta reload, that means that he does well in um, short short range combat in addition to sniping people off with his revolver. Now, in the video that the Play Overwatch channel released, one of the things that I noticed was McCree's updated ultimate. So, um, McCree's ultimate is essentially an ability where you take two to three seconds to line up a cursor on all of the visible targets on the screen, and after two to three seconds of those cursors sort of closing in on the target, once they hit green, or red actually, I'm sorry, got my colors wrong. Once it hits red, uh, McCree will then fire at those targets, automatically hit them there for sure hits, and that target will either take a ton of damage or just die. Now in the video, it looked like it did a lot of damage, so I don't know if it's some sort of headshot multiplier, but his ultimate does a lot of damage and it's auto-aim, and I don't like that about his ultimate. I think that in any game where you have um, a player with a really powerful ability, that ability should at least be skill-based. If you compare him to some of the classes in his classification, the offensive classes, uh, players like Farah, Hanzo, or the Reaper, um, they all have sort of drawbacks to their ultimate. Farah Farrah's ultimate is essentially where she's sitting stationary while unleashing a huge barrage of rockets, but that's the downside of her ultimate, is that she's stationary stuck in one place so that she's easily targetable. Hanzo, for example, fires a very high damage projectile, um, which is which is very good strategically for like quarters and stuff. But the downside of that project, er, the 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 balanced part of that projectile is that it's very slow moving, very easy to avoid. The Reaper, um, he does a huge sort of short AOE damage burst, but again, there he's he's slow moving, if not stationary, in his ultimate. McCree doesn't really have a downside to his ultimate. Yes, you take two to three seconds to line up that cursor um, to, to line it up on the enemy and then he automatically fires, but it's just the mechanic of having, of having his ultimate just auto-aim for you that brings little little sort of need for skill uh, when playing the character. Now, that's not to say, uh, let me correct myself on that, it's it, it's not to say you don't need skill when playing the character, he's actually one of the most skill demanding uh, characters in the game, frankly, because his revolver is hit skin and it looks entirely as if you need to not only hit your shots but combo your rolls and your stuns um, to sort of um, burst the enemy down. But I would like his ultimate at least tweaked so it's not entirely just aimbot focused because that's essentially what it is. His ultimate is an aimbot for, um, for a couple of kills and that's it. But the thing is, it looks like those are guaranteed kills and I think your ultimate, while powerful, you should still have to earn kills with your ultimate, not just have some computer calculate your shots for you. So that's kind of my two cents on Hanzo, or I'm sorry, not Hanzo, um, McCree. The game, the game isn't even out, so I don't entirely have all of the character names uh, nailed down. So um, anyway, but McCree looks super fun. Looks like looks like a very interesting character. I just like to see his alt tweaked a little bit. Uh, so that was my video for today, guys, and um, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.